Hello, this is Michelle Knight from michellenight.com. This is the astrological update for Taurus, the week starting the 16th of May. And what a week. In many ways, you're feeling really excited about life. Even if you've had a tough time, you've been through a lot of emotional pressure. In fact, probably recently, you've been going through a lot of deep emotions. You've been thinking about your purpose on earth. You've been wondering why you're here. You've been really questioning yourself. But this week, thank goodness, you feel a lot stronger. There's a part of you going, okay, so I am here. Let's make the most of it. And fortunately for you, you have Mars and Venus in your sign. And that gives you the perfect balance in many ways if you choose to allow yourself to tune into it. So there's a part of you that can really tune into your masculine and your feminine side, your yin and your yang. And you can bring these two things together. Look at your life recently. Have you been too kind of strong? Have you been too in the masculine? Or have you been very receptive and being very emotional? Think what you could do if you marry up these two sides to your personality. And that's the energy of this week. That's what you have the opportunity to do. Now, to throw a slight spanner in the works, we have a full moon in Scorpio, which is your opposite sign. Now, you go through this yearly, okay? So it should be familiar to you, but it can be quite intense because all your emotions, everything deep within you is coming to the surface. So you may feel nostalgic about the past. You might think about an ex-lover, or you might think about emotions like jealousy and passion and desire and what it means to you. You might find yourself having desires that you haven't really looked at before. But because you have that balance between the Mars and Venus in your sign, it's the perfect time to be honest with yourself, to look at your sexual and emotional feelings. Now, if in your life you're not concerned with love because other things are going on for you, it allows you to balance your relationship with yourself. It allows you to look at your relationship with yourself and say, how much do I love me? Loving you is the key. Taurians are very good at being a little bit stubborn sometimes and not necessarily showing their love on the surface, but really you're always there for the people that you love. It's really important that you reflect on how much energy you're giving yourself, how much commitment you're giving yourself to your own happiness and allowing yourself to be honest about your desires, your life purpose and your trust in the universe. Scorpio can be the planet of fear. It can bring up fear for people. Like, do you feel safe in the world? Do you trust your process? Do you think the universe loves you? Do you love you? These are the questions to ask yourself. And if you can resolve a bit of that this week, it will give you even firmer roots in the earth and a great sense of security within yourself, which is actually the Taurian's lesson. I send you so much love and I'll speak to you soon.